something they did. So anyway, everything our government does, it seems to get backwards. It seems to get in reverse. You know, it, it's the Patriot Act, the most unpatriotic act that's ever been enacted on American people. The war on terror, which is more like a war for terror, it's actually like a giant neon light screaming terror here. <laughs> So if I wanted, if I wanted to keep kids off of drugs, this would be my policy. I would institute the Department of Drug Distribution, <laughs> and then everybody would would be dying, waiting in line by the time they got to smoke their first joint. <laughs> the other thing that I think I would do, thank you. The other thing that I would do is, is institute a war on education, because the Department of Education doesn't work if we had a war on education. We had Education. What you would have is you would have people in back alleys going, I got physics. I'm on physics. I got physics. And then these people would come up to you and you know, we had the highest IQ kids in the world. Anyway, oh, I can't. Who are we talking about treats? Why do I feel like a stand up comic today? I wrote this on my way down here. Alright, talk about treats, the Republican and the Democratic Convention. Aren't those the treats? I mean, really, let's talk about the Republican Convention. Wow, what an act of democracy in action. Ted Cruz, I'm running with again, just spoke so highly of that convention. That was the worst pile of crap I've ever had. <laughs> Yeah. That's what it is. Those rooms. I mean, you can try as you might. You can do what you will. You can try to organize people. You can do whatever you will. But when you get here, when you get to convention, go through. Because we're not having any of that. We've got establishment candidates, candidates that need to get elected. And we need your, you know, we need your grassroots candidates out of the way. And that's the kind of thing that they're going to pull every time. And I think that if we were ever going to see something happen for the grassroots movement, now is the time that we're going to see it. A lot of people hassled the Libertarian Party because in Vegas, there was all this confusion going on after some big votes. They were great. Big votes made all this confusion, and all these people had to stand up, and then everybody was getting, oh, it's so confusing. You know what that was? That was us counting people's heads. Actually using democracy. We didn't put the teleprompter up and say it is the opinion of the chair that the two-thirds vote has been met. Did you see that? Yeah. It's nowhere near two-thirds vote. And it was on a teleprompter. We start telling people to put on a teleprompter that, that they're gonna read it off. In the opinion of the chair, it's two-thirds vote according to the screen. <laughs> Your time is coming, and that time is now. The Democrat Convention, my God, was that any better? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you count on Democrats for? What do you think civil liberties? You trust? You wish? I mean, the Nobel Peace Prize is president. Yeah. Out across the world, killing everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I mean, you, you try, you think, you hope, oh, pray, pray that the Democrats will stand up for civil liberties. I don't know if you, did anybody, you guys probably didn't. Did anybody pay attention to the Democratic Convention? Oh, no. All right, all right. Well, then I'm going to let you in on a little secret. They had five platform planks that were removed. Okay, five platform planks were removed from their platform. And they were <clears throat> indefinite detention. They had a plan, plan on them for that. Warrantless wire surveillance in the Patriot Act. Get mo. Racial, racial profiling. And torture. And then I forgot they had one more plank, and that plank was whether Israel or whether Jerusalem will be the capital of Israel. That's a God plank, <laughs> and, and some sort of God plank. But here's the funny thing. You know, the media, you think the media is going to help you, the media is going to stand on your side. You know, that's what.
that's what freedom of speech is all about. That's what freedom of the press is about. But the media gets a hold of something like this, and then they don't let it stand. They wouldn't let it stand if they would remove the Constitution from their platform completely. So the liberties is what these guys always stand for. Right? Well, now, the media, CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all covered the idea that they had removed Jerusalem as the capital of Israel from their platform. And not one word, one word, about the Constitution being shredded. So they put that, that platform about Israel, did take it back in, and it was very funny. It was on a teleprompter. They did three votes. The first two votes failed. The second vote, the teleprompter said, and the opinion of the chair, the two-thirds votes was awarded. And that blank made it back. But the blanks about our civil liberties, right out the window. So you know, it's kind of funny to me, with as bad as those, as bad as those conventions were, as horrifying as those conventions were, that now we get the pleasure of listening to the Republicans and Democrats talk about voter fraud. <laughs> you know, it's like they think that, you know, I think the, the, uh, the Republicans think that space aliens are going to come down from space and vote by 20 million space aliens, and then on the other side, the, the, the Democrats believe that if you go to the polling place, there's going to be a guy dressed up in a KKK outfit that is going to make you a kind of a pledge of allegiance to Vader. And the fact is, the fact is, is that, that you know, as bad as, the, as whatever it is, whatever side of that you want to take, it is nothing. Let me tell you about voter fraud. Voter fraud is what is perpetuated on third parties every year. Thank you.